is here because Hi, today, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> because today she is going to show you guys that her entire 19 bags collection and as you can see she has four right yes i have four you have four so she's going to going through each of her 19 bags with the material what's her thoughts on it if she's continue buying it what's the pros and cons so we can wait to get started and if you haven't subscribed my channel my name is amy my sister sarah Please subscribe if you enjoy all things luxury and don't forget to ring my bell so you don't miss up any of my future video. Alright, so Sarah, which one you want to go ahead and get started? Which, right. uh, which one was your first 19 bag? Yes, I want to say, okay, this is the black gold skin. Of course, this is 19 bag size small and I got this 20... 2020 February uh, I don't know if you recall the video um, I got this bag or a friend of Amy uh, got this from me for me from London Heathrow Airport oh yeah that's right, right. That's so that's right. Uh, 2020 February and of course the, originally I didn't really want the black bag but the color I want of course the the airport Heathrow Airport don't have it so I figured black won't go wrong and this is a gold skin and the gold skin uh, apparently it's pretty durable so I use it I mean I usually baby my bag but I don't want to say I'm really really careful and just really really like let the bag use me so it's very good and like I said you know if I have any scratch if I do I don't see it but I guess I can use this bag very carefree in another word I don't have to just always afraid my nail or anything may scratch the back and for the size of the back I think it's almost comparable with uh, the Chanel classic jumbo size let me open the bag up and I do have an organizer so I want to organize or keep this back structure so overall I think and then of course you guys all know was a back pocket um, Everything is pro of this bag because like I said, it's gold skin. I don't have to worry about it to get scratched and for the capacity It's very very good too. It's definitely you can put more than the median or large classic flap So like I said, this is more equivalent to the jumbo classic and I just find it's very very good um, For the strap there are people talk about the strap is heavy, but to me I do not think so I think you can either wear this as a crossbody or shoulder bag or even just a handheld in the crook of your arm. So it's all very, very good. And this is my first nighting bag in the gold skin. Yeah, I think gold skin is very durable and very nice. So the next one is... The next one is the orange color. Um, I don't know if you guys know orange is one of my favorite color. I know this color is not for everyone, but anyhow, this skin I believe gold is skin. gold skin yes. as well. And since I already have a pretty good um, experience with the black color, and I figure getting this orange color is just a pop of a color, and I think it's good for summertime or springtime. I probably will use the black bag more often mm -hmm. in fall season or yeah fall, but for this color, I probably would have used for spring and uh, summer. Yeah. And again, this this just a pop of a color. I really, really like it. And I already like the black color. And then I figured that's a darker color. And just the brighter color is just something different. Although it's the exactly same bag, just different color. But you guys all know I'm a bag lady. So I figured... Yeah, so this one is very pop of color. And I think for springtime, for summertime, all year long. It's very bright. It's yeah. a very bright orange color. Right. And then she decided to get something in the middle that is black and white and in tweed. All right. I saw this bag at the boutique and at first, because I, I, I do not have any tweed, Chanel tweed jacket or anything tweed material. But when I saw this, I'm like, oh my, this is just very, very pretty. And it's better than I expected because the originally I'm thinking why I never or I don't want to get any tweed material because I I am just so afraid to poking the material and then the thread or anything would have come off either will come off will have I guess the bag it's the longevity of the bag 
it will not be like leather. Because you figure if your your ring or your nail, you may just yeah, that's a good concern. Right? Yes. Yeah, you may just poke it and then, but I don't see this bag giving me any problem. And I haven't used this bag for many times, but I have, and of course, I use this bag in winter time more often. And this size seems is larger than than this size small but I think when I make a purchase this bag considered as a small so are you saying these two are the same size? same size is at least when I purchase say it's the same size but, but it looks larger it looks larger so I believe it is larger maybe we can put the uh, size on the screen the, the dimension yeah but I, I really think this is a very uh, beautiful and handbag. the reason why I purchased because I think it is just so so signature of a Chanel and even the little ribbon in between oh, shows yeah, like a little Ch ribbon. Chanel yeah, let's see. if you can see it if you can see it the little ribbon little ribbon here yeah right in between right and show like a Chanel yeah it does show right oh like yeah Chanel. Chanel right there it does yeah. show so, so I figure it is very the uh, detail spread. is there. So I think it's very unique. And this and is the uh, Hans tools, and I figure I don't have any Hans tools, so this will be my first one. Yeah. Wow. Right. All right. So the next one is her Sarah's latest purchase, and if you've seen our video, the unboxing gone wrong video, then you know what happened to this handbag when Sarah first opened it actually when I first opened it I identified that there's a little the black, black spot. spot but then we took it back to the boutique immediately and then we're able to buff it out using the condition to wipe it up and now we couldn't even see where it was but this is such a gorgeous bag and I was glad that it worked out perfectly with the booty because if Sarah, if they couldn't uh, able to uh, remove that, you know, the, the the black stand, maybe Sarah cannot get another one because this mm -hmm. is such, you know, hard to get. Right, it's a very very highly sought after bag, and I actually I was the first hesitate to acquire this bag because the reason I see a lot of review on Facebook, uh, the Chanel group saying, oh, this has a lot of orange tone. Somewhat I do see it does have the orange tone. This color is really more like a light brown. This color is totally just the bright orange. So I'm it's glad different. it's different because when I, I'm like, I already have an orange color. Do I need to get another orange color back? But now but when I see it, that's not orange. I know, but now when I see this it, this is more like a, a the caramel, salted caramel, caramel color or a pumpkin color. Right. You, I think yeah. even the pumpkin color is brighter than this. Yeah, a little it bit could brighter. Be, right. Yeah. But but, uh, but I think you know, uh, I think this is a very popular popular color right now. So Sarah's a collector, so she definitely want to put it into her collection. Right. So. Yeah. Uh, but then we need to mention about this is the lens skin and I touch it the, the skin I can tell the differences yes and I really really appreciate it well as you guys can tell this is new I mean the tags is even still attached and so this I is have a gold skin right, that's a gold so skin. totally different totally different but so I really don't know um but this lamp skin doesn't feel the lamp skin from your classic re re rectangular. rectangular. So this is kind of like the durable type lamp of lamp skin. skin. Right. So but I guess I probably have to, after I use it, then I'll give you guys another review. So I would have a m more better idea of using the gold skin yeah. and the lamp skin. But by looking at it, I mean, at least by looking at this black one, it has the shame, you know. Right, the shame. right. And you can tell that I still think the lamb skin has more luxurious look, where the gold skin is more like a rigid look to me. Absolutely, it yes. is. And then, oh my, I'm just so happy I scored this bag. And like I said, not everybody cup of tea, but I like it. And I'm yeah. a bag collector, so. Yeah, and then Sarah has the gold skin, the lamb skin, and the tweed. So she basically covers it all. If one day they have the cavi caviar leather, you probably will get it too. So Sarah... Let me ask you a question. Are you done buying 19 back? I think I am. But well, never say never. Never say never, right? Because she has been telling me she's in this first, first piece. piece. But 
never peace. It's never peace. So yeah, so thank you so much for showing us these four 19 can bags and I think each one has its own character. Absolutely. Very unique and uh, I just love the look of this lamb skin and even with the goat skin, you don't feel that you have to baby it when you use it. So are you team goat skin or team lamb skin? Please comment below, below. or you go one step further, you love this tweed. Right. This tweed the one. Too. The Hans too. The Hans You know, these are so, so beautiful handbag. And uh, thank you so much for watching. We will see you in our next one. Bye. Bye.